Hi, I'm going to show you how to use Task Information Collections, the Firefox extension that lets you manage your project or task-related information. Okay, first install the extension. And I restart my web browser. I can open the extension by clicking on this button, which will open a new tab move door here or from the tools menu. Okay, I'm going to click to agree with terms and condition and I'm presented with this uh, blank area which is my project space uh, and this is my first task, the project space for my first tasks which I will rename to extension development and save it so I can see I have this new task over here. I'm going to track now a few information items over. So for a website, I click on the pub icon and drag it over. I'm going to um, drag over also the Mozilla site. I'm going to drag over also the Google Code website. And what this does is it creates new links to information on my project space. I track also this documentation websites for for Mozilla, and I can also track over some text. So I select the text, I drag it over, and I drop it. It creates a note. This creates a note. I can create my own notes, and I can move them around. I can move all the items around the page. And I added a note by double clicking on it, and I'll add a to do list. And I stop editing by clicking somewhere else. I will also add a few folders and files that I use in my project. And so this is a folder of my code, and these are two files that I often edit and I need access to. So these are my three items. So I, I dragged over and I also want to track over an email. Um, and it creates a link to my email. So what I can do with these items is I can open them. For example, if I click on the web page link, it opens a new tab. If I click on a folder link, it opens a file manager. And if I click on a file link, it opens up with the registered um, application. If I want to open a folder of a particular file, I click on the, on, on the link. So first I clicked on the icon of the file and I can um, open a folder of that file, I can add a due date, if I add a due date it will emphasize it. I can add a person, I can add an email, URL, note, or I can delete an item. I can also emphasize information by clicking on the two arrows, and for example I want to emphasize that one because I need to edit it, and I can also emphasize the note. And I can also um, define if this is input or output information or both. So, for example, these documentation pages are just input information to my project, while this, this files is something that I'm creating, and these are output information for, for a project. I will create another project now. I'll call it documentation and it just created a new project called documentation so I can switch between projects or project spaces and I'll drag over a folder and a file I'll drag over another folder that I use and I'll drag over the folder of extension where I store all the code and I'll also drag over the readme file. Okay, now I can see something that my two uh, projects are overlapping through information. So I used I dragged the same folder from 
for on two different projects, and I can jump now to a project one through information, so I can navigate from a project to project to through information, and um, and I can also delete the projects by clicking over here, or I can see all the changes that were made in the project. So I started with this information item, and I can walk through all my steps that I made in the project so I can navigate through time. I can also open up uh, the desktop folder or home folder and that's about it. I hope you'll find it useful 